Hello everyone. We are going to present a video on PMIP v6 based IP flow mobility solution with demo implemented at Cybridge Technologies. Proxy mobile IPv6 is one of the protocol to achieve network based IP mobility. In PMIPv6, all the mobility related signaling will be managed by its network entities on behalf of MN which is not the case with MIPv6 solution. All the registration, deregistration, mobility session of MNs is managed by its network component only. PMIPv6 has two entities. First LMA that is local mobility anchor and second is MAG that is mobile access gateway. Please refer to RFC 5213 for more details. The generic terms in PMIPv6 are first is LMD that is local mobility domain a domain that can have LMA and multiple MAG entities. Second is LMA a local mobility anchor to perform the anchoring of all mobile nodes that attaches in the LMD. Third is MAG a mobile access gateway to perform all the mobility related signaling on behalf of mobile nodes with LMA. Fourth is MN, a mobile node, a device which connects to network through its interfaces like Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G. Fifth is CN, a correspondent node, any server that is on the network side. You can see the entire component in the left side of the screen which is a generic PMIP v6 setup. We have implemented PMIP v6 based protocol as per RFC 5213. Our solution supports multi-homing, multiple handover scenarios and IP flow mobility features. Our solution is well tested on Linux mobile with multiple wireless interfaces having logical layer interface support. We have well defined policies so that IP flows can be split across multiple interfaces as per policies only. Our solution can work on two different kind of setup. A three machine setup in which LMA, MAGS are running on different Linux machines and a single machine setup in which all the entities are running on single Linux machine. This is the first test bed setup of PMIP v6. In this LMA and MAGS are running on individual Linux machine as we can see in this picture. LMA and MAGS are interconnected using 4 port switch. A MN has two wireless interfaces connected simultaneously with different access points. Each MAG has Ethernet connection with one access point. This is a list of IPs that is configured on each interface in all machines. MAG and AP have IPv4 connectivity and everything else is having IPv6 connection. We are using a set of well defined policy at LMA and at MN to achieve IPv6 based flow mobility. In this we have 11 columns. The first one is the name of the policy, second is index of the policy, third is priority, fourth to eighth column defines five tuples. Those are source address, destination address, protocol, source port and destination port. This tuple is very important to filter out and control the traffic. Next two columns are status and action type of the policy. And last column is interface through which traffic would traverse. It can be Wi-Fi 0, Wi-Fi 1, 3G or 4G. So we have some set of policy. Based on that, we will show our demo. This is our lab setup. Starting from the left, the first machine is the CN machine, then LMA, then MAC1 machine, then MAC2, and rightmost is the mobile node. That is a Wiretech board having two Wi-Fi interfaces. The two grey boxes near to the MAGs are access points to which MN will connect. First we execute LMA application and RADIUS server startup. RADIUS is a AAA server used to authorize mobile nodes and provides home network prefixes to the attached mobile node. These addresses are configured as per the setup shown earlier to communicate with MAGS and CN. Here we are starting the MAG application on MAG1.
these addresses are configured on the mag machine as per setup shown earlier to communicate with lma and their respective access points here we are starting the mac application on mac 2 these addresses are configured on mac 2 machine as per the setup shown earlier to communicate with lma and the respective access points here we are showing the serial port of mobile node. On this screen, we can see the configuration of wireless interfaces present on it. Here, Bond0 is the logical interface which has two slave interfaces WLAN0 and WLAN1. Initially, mobile node's wireless interfaces are not connected to any access point. We will connect each interface one by one and see the behavior on MAG. Now we are connecting WLAN0 interface to access point 1 having SSID A1. MAG1 is now responsible for doing the mobility related signaling on behalf of WLAN0 interface of the mobile node. Now connecting WLAN 1 interface to access point 2 having SSID A2. MAC2 is now responsible for doing mobility related signaling on behalf of WLAN 1 interface of the mobile node. Now we can see both WLAN 0 and WLAN 1 interfaces are successfully connected with AP1 and AP2 respectively. So we have achieved multi homing feature. MN gets its home network prefix on Bond0 interface and IPv6 addresses are configured on it. Now moving to our next feature that is handoff. Handoff is basically divided broadly into two categories that is horizontal and vertical handover. Horizontal handover is a handover between same access technologies also known as intra-technology handover. So we can say that a single interface moving across different access points is horizontal handoff. Vertical handoff is handover between different access technologies. So in multi-homed mobile node, when one interface loses the connection with its access point, then all the traffic will be handled by another interface. We will perform vertical handover with two wireless interfaces of mobile node only. We will now start traffic in uplink direction from MN to CN. Also, respective servers for the traffic are running on the CN machine. First is the TCP traffic with destination port 1234. Next here is the UDP traffic with destination port 80. Now we are showing packets captured by Wireshark at MAG1 and MAG2. We can see here that the TCP traffic is flowing through MAG1 and UDP traffic is flowing through MAG2 as per the policies shown earlier. Also port number of the traffic is shown here by opening the packets on each side. In case of TCP traffic, the ACK by CN can also be seen here. We can see here both TCP and UDP traffic between MN and CN are flowing through the LMA machine. Now we will disconnect WLAN 1 interface of mobile node by shutting it down. Now all the UDP traffic that was passing through MAC2 now it starts passing through MAG1. The packet is shown on the MAG1 screen. Now we will connect back the WLAN1 interface of mobile node with AP2 having SSID A2.
Now we can see here that MAC2 has regained all its traffic that is the UDP traffic which started passing through MAC1 due to interface shutdown. For demonstrating horizontal handoff, we will be using only one interface of the mobile node. Initially, it's shown here that no mobile node interface is connected to any access point. So we will use WLAN 0 interface only of the mobile node. Now we are connecting WLAN 0 interface of mobile node with AP1 having SSID A1 that is highlighted in IW config. Now we are starting UDP traffic with destination port 80 and 60 but because of the single interface connected all the traffic will flow through single MAG only that is MAG1. Here we can see that all the traffic is flowing through MAG1 only. Packets of UDP traffic are also shown by opening them. Now for showing the horizontal handoff, we change the connection of WN0 from AP1 to AP2 having SSID A2. that is being highlighted in IW config. Now here we can see that all the traffic is now shifted to MAC2 and flowing through it. No traffic is flowing through MAC1. Packets of UDP are also shown by opening them. Flow mobility means movement of selected IP flows from one access technology to another or we can say dividing the IP flow between connected interfaces. For example, if mobile node has two interfaces and both are connected to the network then with the flow mobility feature we can transfer FTP traffic from one interface and HTTP traffic from another interface. With the implementation of IP flow mobility we have configured policies to divide the flow at LMA and at mobile node. Here you can see that both the interfaces are already connected. WLAN 0 is connected to AP1 having SSID A1 and WLAN 1 is connected to AP2 having SSID A2. Now we will start three traffics. First is a UDP traffic with destination port 80 that is defined to flow through MAC2. Second is a TCP traffic with destination port 1234 defined to flow through MAC1. And third is a TCP traffic with destination port 222 defined to flow through MAC2 as per the policies shown earlier. We can see the respective traffics are flowing through the interfaces defined for them in the policies. Packets are shown on both the MAC screens by opening them. We can see all the traffic between MN and CN are flowing through a LMA machine.
Till now, we have seen PMIP basics based IP flow mobility solution on three machine setup. Now, we also have implemented the same solution on single machine setup. Here, we can see that LMA, MAG1 and MAG2 are on single Linux machine and this machine has three Ethernet cards. In it, the LMA communicates to MAGs internally. MAG1 communicates to AP1 using ETH0 that is ETH0 interface and MAG2 communicates to AP2 using ETH2 interface and LMA communicates to CN via ETH1 interface. Here is the list of IP addresses configured on the interfaces of single machine setup.